Hi, here's a question that I get asked, and this is what I'm going to talk to you about today, is how do we develop power in our strikes from such a close range? If someone's got hold of us and they're right in our face, we've got to learn to hit within a foot, maybe a foot and a half. We've got to generate that sort of power to shut off this guy's computer. Yeah? We've got to shake the brain to cause him trauma to hopefully put him down. And obviously, if we can't put him down with the first, we then carry on and hit him with our other combatives. In the last little clip I showed you, or uh, I did, I told you about just using three, four, five combatives in your armory. They are in your toolbox. These are the combatives that must work for you. They will, they've been proven. And you need to train them so you know that in a stressful, adrenalized situation, you can rely on you reacting and using them well. Yeah? So we talked about a palm strike. Yeah? We talked about a hammer fist. Yeah? We talked about an elbow strike and also a knee strike. And again, this drill that I'm doing now to increase your power, you can train on your own. Yeah? So it's a great little drill. Like we said before, just learning about your different combatives, your small amount of tools in your toolbox. Yeah? This is what we need. We don't want a multitude of different ideas to deal with one threat. Because there's a thing called Hicks Law, or Hicks Theory, that says if you've got a multitude of different ideas, your brain's going to try and mull these over. Yeah? You're already in a highly adrenalized, highly stressed state. You just want a couple of key tools that you know are going to work and you can rely on. So this is what we're going to look at. How do we develop this power? Two things. Body mechanics and body weight. So the first one, body mechanics, what does that mean? If I actually hit somebody just using my arm, from here, boom, yeah, from here, boom, yeah, all I'm using is muscle mass, yeah, deltoids, yeah, a little bit of tricep, yeah, that's really it, yeah, that's what I'm hitting with. What we need is to bring our whole body into the equation, yeah, we want to use all our joints if we can, and there's a saying, and if you box, you'll understand what I'm talking about, if you're a boxer and you got hit by a guy that really dug in, yeah, boom, they say he was hitting you from his big toe. What they mean by that is, when he went to hit, he actually curled his big toe into the ground. So he used his big toe, his ankle, his knee, his hip, his shoulder, his elbow, even your wrist goes into the strike. So I'm going to show you. So, the first, body mechanics, yeah, the guy's there, we're here, we've got to generate power in to that person, shut down his computer, yeah, so from here, my hands are up, they're being my guards, yeah, a fence, call it what you like, but from here, I'm going to push down with my big toe, yeah, as I push down, I'm going to go in and through, and as you can see from here, bang, yeah, here, from here, bang, yeah, I'm using my hips, I'm using my shoulders, I'm using my elbow, my knee, everything, I'm even twisting, because I'm putting my big toe into the floor, so from here, bang, 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 I go into the person, short distance, boom, short distance, boom, look how my hip moves in, the second thing, if you noticed what I did, I used my body weight, yeah, I dropped into the person, yeah, and this is something that we also need to learn, so we're not just hitting with body mechanics, we're hitting with our body weight as well, yeah, you drop shot, drop shot into the person, yeah, or we drop foot, loads of little names for it, but all you're doing is shifting your weight forwards, yeah, so, now I'm putting body weight into it. And it's all about timing. This is why you need to practice this. You need to practice it on your own, from here. So I'm not just using my body mechanics, I'm stepping in. Yeah? A drop shot. Step in. Boom! Step in. Boom! Step in. Boom! Remember, don't train for just one shot. Yeah? That's not enough. Yeah? 
we're training to neutralize that threat. Yeah? And the only time we stop hitting using combatives is when we've neutralized or the threat is no longer there. Yeah? So this is what we train for. So from here, my hands are up. Bam, bam, bam. Even this, when I do my elbow strikes, I drop into him. Drop into him. Look how my uh, hips are coming in. I'm also dropping my, my chin, my guard. Everything's tight. And it slams. Can you imagine putting that to the side of someone's face? Boom. Yeah? You're not going to be too chuffed. Yeah? Especially, they're the aggressor. You're here. You're being all passive, submissive. But you know you're going to have to use your combatives to sort the situation out. Talking has not worked. Yeah? You couldn't get away from the situation, which is what we talk about. That's what we should be doing, first of all. Obviously, being aware of things, yeah? Being on code yellow, looking around, trusting our, our, our instincts, looking around in our environment, and then something starts to happen. We go to code orange, yeah? Or color orange, yeah? So, from here, it's gone to red, yeah? The situation has gone bad, so we're here. So we know that this combat is going to work. So we're going to step through, yeah? We're going to do a drop shot, and we're also going to use our hips. Bang! From here. Bang! From here. Boom! Practice this. Also, no, look, look what I'm wearing as well. Again, I've touched on this last time. Wear civilian clothes that you will go out in. Because then your body gets used to training and reacting to a situation with the clothes that you'd wear. If you're used to just training in a pair of training shoes and uh, your gym gear, a tracksuit, if you're out, maybe you go, I'll show you something. I'll put a jacket on. Yeah? So I'm out for the evening. And I've got my jacket on. Yeah? I'm not saying we're going to get all hot and sweaty. You know, I'm not going to train an hour now on the bag using just it. I'm not. I'm drilling this certain technique. Yeah? I'm looking at developing a trigger point to strike and strike hard. So I'm going to wear this gear because this is what I'm going to be used to. Yeah? So if a situation ever happens, I'm not going to be worried that the guy's got me by my jacket. Yeah? Because this is what I've trained in. Yeah? Get used to training and you get and start to feel how restrictive it is. If I throw an elbow now, I know it restricts me round here. But I'm here. Yeah? So I drop shot. Bing! I drop shot. Bing! Yeah? Drop shot. Bing! Yeah? From here. The guy's got me by my collar. Yeah? I'm going to hit him. Bang! I'm going to hit him. Bang! Bang! Boom! 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 Yeah? Drop shot into him. Yeah? Drop my body weight. Yeah? Again, I'm not pulling back. I'm not doing this. Never train like that. Train tight. Almost put your thumb on your chin if you want. So you know that it's only ever going to go forwards. You're not going to go backwards. It's a good way of training. So when you fences up your guard, yeah, from here, bang, short distance, bang, in it goes, yeah, so try this drill, yeah, it's a good one to learn, body mechanics, body weight, combine them both, bit of timing, and understand, remember, small, t small amount of tools in your toolbox, you know, you might, you might like the punch, yeah, I don't, I like the palm strike, but there's nothing wrong from here, learn to punch, yeah, from here, bang, that's effective, bang, bang, yeah, you start hitting someone in the jaw, in the nose, you know, cheekbones, bang, 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 they're going to go down, yeah, so, I hope that's helped, you're going to say, dress as you would dress, so you've got to get used to that, and train hard, and don't cut corners, remember, there's a saying, practice makes perfect, it's rubbish, it's perfect practice makes perfect. So when you're training, make sure you're training perfectly. If you start doing this, and do this, and do this, keep dragging that arm back, we're going to throw an elbow, and I'm doing that before I throw it, it's not going to work out there. Someone's going to see it. They'll beat you to the, to the counter. Yeah. So, perfect practice makes perfect. I hope this helps. I hope you enjoyed it. Any questions, you can email me or... Get to me on Facebook. Be safe out there.